Before we get into the video, make sure y'all like, subscribe if you're new. I mean, come on, what are you doing? If you're not subbed to me by now, my content is fire for chats from his news videos, stop motions, tour reviews, tour photography breakdowns, music occasionally. My Instagram is linked down below. And yeah, let's get straight to it. Okay, got a couple things to talk about in this video. First up, an Authentics Optimus Primal figure. This was... Uh, leaked or revealed, whatever you want to call it, from a Taiwan retailer. Uh, it says here it's similar to core class scale, about four and a half inches. And the box, we saw this image in, I think, the box itself like a few months back, and we were speculating what it would be for. And now we know it's for this Authentics toy line that I think is a Walgreens exclusive here in the United States and some other places maybe, but box typical <clears throat> excuse me typical authentics box and then there he is in gorilla mode which looks all right i mean it's about on par with what we got with the kingdom version but the robot mode is some interesting things going on here uh there's some things that are slightly done better than the kingdom voyager class figure i'd say like the chest region isn't as gappy and as strange looking it's more held in together around the edges and and uh near the um upper chest region but obviously he's missing a lot of paint on the chest and head for sure and on the arms too so i mean this obviously won't be a good generations optimus but if you want a fun little optimus primal this this seems really nice and it does seem like he has gorilla arms and you can't uh rotate the or uh, use the elbow joint more in the regular fashion it looks like you have to rotate it then turn it which I haven't seen in years, so that does suck. But, um, yeah, you can see there, the chest is way more filled in. There's no gaps like the Kingdom version, so... And then he has his flip-up shoulder cannons, which he could, he could also hold in his hand, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if you want to get this as a nice little Optimus Primal to mess around with. And it seems like this might be... A good stand-in for a core class Optimus Primal for your core class Generations shelf if you want to do that. Uh, but yeah, this is it's all right for what it is. I mean, there's a lot of paint missing and the gorilla arms are pretty bad. But uh, depending on how much this costs, if you want a nice little cheap Optimus Primal to mess around with, this is definitely for you. And lastly, we have our first look, finally, of Deluxe Class Crosscut. He is going to be in Legacy Evolution Wave 2, I believe, so he'll probably be out around early springtime, probably March, April, around that time frame. Uh, he looks alright. Uh, you guys already know I'm not too big of a fan of this mold. The only version of this mold I have is Crankcase because I love the character and I lo wanted him to be in my Scavengers crew and I thought he was the best use of this mold, but everybody else I think looks very bad and this is no exception. The red wheels are weird as heck. I, I don't know what they got going on there with that. But the weapons are nice. I do like the weapons that uh, go with this mold. The Energon Axe and the two guns there. But, you know, same issues I have with this figure. Uh, but for those of you that have a cross... That, that want a cross cut on this new body mold and in this new legacy aesthetic, there you go. And you can get it later on this year in a few months' time. So but that sculpt looks alright. I mean, the colors are okay, but I just hate this mold. But anyway, this was just a quick update video for you guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye! Congratulations, you have made it to the end of this video.